Hello everyone. Welcome back to Arsha Trainings. Yeah, today we are going to talk about CI/CD. So CI/CD is very important in DevOps, right? So what is CI/CD? Why we require CI/CD? So why we re, why we use CI/CD in real time projects? What is the importance? We'll try to understand. Fine. Yeah. Basically, what is CI/CD? So when we talk about CI/CD, CI/CD is a process. Basically, earlier we used to use waterfall methodology, right? So, in waterfall methodology, yeah, we used to deploy the code in sequential manner, right? So, currently we are using agile methodology. What is agile methodology? It is a parallel development, right? So, parallelly the code will be developed, the code will be deployed, application will be deployed, right? So, when we deploy the application, the deployment will be happened in production servers. right so for example one application is there so the application so when we start developing the application that will be divided into bits and pieces which is nothing but sprints right sprint 1 sprint 2 sprint 3 fine so what is sprint sprint is a timeline so based on the requirement the sprint can be divided into one week to one month right so as per the requirement fine so for example today one sprint started right so by next sunday that should be completed right within the one week the sprint should be completed that is nothing but timeline fine so in cicd so what are the tools involved in right so here we have git github jenkins maven and tomcat application server right so different tools will be in, involved in this so when we talk about git so basically what is git git is a repository tool or version control tool right so repository tool or version control so what is repository where we store our data where we store our source code is nothing but repository it can be any data it can be binary files image files video files where we store our data is nothing but repository so and what is version control system so version control is nothing but so it's a we have some parameters here like who did changes when did changes what purpose did it changes so based on the comments so git will track the version right for example ram did changes right so when did changes by 11 am it did some changes what purpose did it changes due to some production issue it did some changes so based on this comments git will track the version so version control system will track the changes so here we have git and github git is a local repository github is a remote repository right so why we require remote repository right so normally developers like three developers are developing the code in their local repository local git once development is completed testing is completed they will push the code to remote repository right so why they push the code to remote repository so whatever code developed by three developers that should be merged into one place the code should be merged in one place right so that is why basically so when they de develop the code in their local so once development is completed test testing is completed they will push the code to remote repository so before pushing the code to remote repository here one more tool will be there which is sonar code review in between these two different tools we have sonar yeah basically what is sonar sonar is a tool so which will monitor the code which will review the code right if any duplicate lines are there any errors are there sonar will review so in sonar normally developers they create some metrics based on the metrics sonar will review the code and so if any duplicate lines are there errors are there this code will not be allowed to the next level fine so sonar is a very popular tool so every project team they use code standards right so based on the requirement they configure the code review tool so here sonar is a very popular tool which will review the code right so once the code is moved to github so our next tool is jenkins what is jenkins so jenkins is a jenkins is a continuous integration continuous delivery tool right so in devops we have multiple tools are there right so each tool will not communicate other tool by using jenkins we can communicate all the tools we can integrate all the tools by installing plugins what is plugin plugin is nothing but 
it is a installer it is a package for example so i want to integrate github to jenkins if i want to integrate github to jenkins i need to install one plugin in jenkins i have to install one github plugin in jenkins once i install the plugin then jenkins will start communicating github right so in jenkins what i will do i create jobs what is job it is a functionality for example so my code is available in github i want to pull the code from github to jenkins so first i need to integrate github to jenkins after that i need to prepare one job and i trigger the job once i trigger the job whatever code is available in github this code will be pulled from github to jenkins right so whatever code i pull from github to jenkins which is a raw code raw code will not understand by application servers so normally application servers will understand artifacts binary formats right whatever code i pull from github to jenkins so the code is a raw code raw code will not understand by application servers that is why i integrate one more tool here which is maven so maven is a build tool it is a build tool right so maven is a very popular tool so we have so many tools are there build tools maven is yeah so very popular tool 70% of the project teams they are using maven only right so maven is a build tool which will generate artifacts what is artifact so archive files right so based on the application maven will generate artifacts for example so my application is java application so which will generate maven will generate jar file if the application is web application it will generate war file if the application is enterprise application maven will generate er file so based on the application maven will generate artifacts right so once it is generate artifact so that artifact will be pushed to the application server which is a tomcat server right so once the code artifact is moved to the application server so here we deploy the code on application server right so this is basically basic build release yeah this is basic build and release process so every project team following this because currently we are using agile methodology right in agile methodology we use parallel development so for parallel development these tools are very important right so jenkins is a mediator tool it is a very yeah core tool so which is which has been used in devops process fine yeah thank you all so please subscribe our channel and click on bell icon to get latest updates thank you